Please tap on the video icon. The thumbnails on the left represent the cameras you have. Select the camera you would like to stream in the bigger window by tapping on the thumbnail video. In this example, we will tap on the Camera 3 thumbnail. You will see icons at the bottom of the screen under the streaming video. Depending on the camera you have, you may have the ability to take a snapshot or video of the current view. For this example, we will take a snapshot. The image will be in the Photos section of your iPad. Depending on the camera you have installed, you may also be able to set fixed points of where you want the camera to rotate to. For this example, hit the arrow right until the view is where you want it to be. Then tap the number 1. Every time you tap 1, the camera will go to this view. Click the house icon to go back to the home view. Depending on your camera, you may also have the ability to turn on the LED lights on the camera, which helps if you are in a dark room. Depending on your camera, you may have the option to auto pan. Auto pan allows you to get a quick view of the area as the camera rotates around quickly. To configure your camera, please tap the wrench in the thumbnail. Select Name and Date Time icon. For this example, we will name the camera Driveway Cam. For Time Zone, we will select Eastern Time, US and Canada. Select 12 or 24 hour format. Select your date format. Enable the icons for Adjust for Daylight Savings and Timestamp Visible. We recommend tapping Save after you have configured each tab in the video analytics. We recommend you tap Save after you have configured all of the camera settings. If you tap Save now, you will leave the analytics screen and be required to tap the wrench again to enter back into this section. Select Capture Notification Settings to configure your camera notifications. For this example, we will choose Video Clip. Pre-capture length, we will choose 3 seconds. Post-capture length, we will select 7 seconds. And choose an interval of 1 minute. You have the option to enable the icon for PIR or motion to trigger an event. You may also have the option to enable the white LED icon. Select Recording Schedule to create a schedule to receive video alert notifications. Select the start date and end time. For this example, we will select 8 a.m. as the start time and 5 p.m. as the end time. Select the Days icon for when you would like to receive the notifications. For this example, we will select Weekdays. Tap on Plus Add Schedule. Select the Motion Detection Areas icon to create the area of threshold activity. You will see four areas where you can create your motion detection. Tap Area 1. A red box will appear on your screen. Tap Area 2 and you will see an orange box appear on the screen, and so on. To move the box to where you want the detection area to be, put your finger in the middle of the box and move the box. Once you have the location you want, you can expand or decrease the motion detection area by putting your finger on the corner of the box. The Threshold Activity icon sets the sensitivity of the detection box. Select Other Features for the appropriate camera balance. Tap White Balance and select the setting that best suits your camera. For this example, we will select Outdoor. You may adjust the brightness and sharpness. In this case, we will leave them set to zero. If you choose to shut off the Status LED Operation button, you will no longer see the LED lights that flash and or remain steady on your camera. Depending on the camera you have, you may see other options. Contact your security professional if you have any questions on your camera options. The Camera Information icon shows the status of the camera data. If you tap Refresh, you will see an updated status on your connectivity.
Click Save when you are done configuring the camera analytics.